Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we are the Stigma Stompers, and we would like to thank everybody for taking time out of their day to listen to our ideas. So as you all may know, mental illness is such a prevalent issue in our society that one in five teenagers will suffer through this mental illness in their lifetime. However, not all of them seek for help due to the negative stigma that, men that comes with mental illness. So there is a lack of mental health leadership in our community, there's a lack of education, and there's a lack of trust. And due to that, um, people tend to bottle up their feelings, which causes more mental health issues. However, we have a lot of ideas to stop the stigma, and here are some of them. All right, our first idea is called the Mental Health Society. Now, this would be a group of like-minded individuals who want to stop the stigma. So they would have weekly meetings where they would uh, discuss the mental health uh, issues and stigmas that are present in the school and analyze information gathered from another idea of ours to uh, assess the uh, mental health environment at the school and try to uh, improve it. In addition to the Mental Health Society, there is also the Talk Box. So with the Talk Box, students can write down how they're feeling and what issues they're going through on an index card. The index cards are labeled 1 through 5 with how they're feeling, and it also has a write-in option that counselors can see. And it's, there's also an option for students to be anonymous so that they can feel safe and open about how they're feeling. And this is also a little bit connected to the Mental Health Society because students in the Mental Health Society can see the trends that are going on with, in talk box and combat the issues. This is extremely important to stop the stigma because it allows students to feel comfortable in their schools and talk about issues they're suffering through with a trusted adult. So rollout, uh, Sammy and I already started, uh, we would say we would initiate some of the programs in our own schools at St. X and Oak Hills. Both are very different and therefore by implementing these they're both very measurable and testable. Oak Hills is very big, very public. St. X is all boys, all private. Uh, we have a lot of excitement from our peers and faculty that would help us support the program and implement these policies into our school. And the, the leaders from the Mental Health Society could go to regional schools around us and talk to some of the elementary schools and start the discussion with the youth at a young age. So for necessities, there's faculty training because if the faculty isn't trained, then how is the students going to get the right education? There's going to be, again, student education, educational material, because if students and teachers don't have that, how are we going to teach the right things? And supplies for the talk box. Help us make this a reality. Thank you so much. Um, the school counselors will, and also like the mental health society, because the mental health society can use like the common trends to figure out, okay, how are we going to fix this in our high school or elementary school or middle school? How do you see the mental health society influencing the daily activities in the school? Um, when people start going to the Mental Health Society, sharing their stories and kind of building a sense of community, I feel that people would get a tighter sense of like wellness and happiness around the school, so kind of like getting rid of like forming closer relationships with the people around you. Also with the educational part, like they are going to learn about mental disorders, they are going to be learning the signs. So on top of that, it can have create sympathy and create empathy with the education they are getting. Yep. And I think uh, one of the most important things that it does is it just creates a discussion that is uh, very much needed right now. And just by basically opening up a discussion about mental health, it uh, basically increases its importance to students all over the school. Is the discussion is the discussion just had within the mental like if you join the mental health society? It can be, but also like if they are finding common trends, the mental health society can go into classrooms or go make an assembly talking about these things and talking about like what's common and like what are the signs. And they can also travel to different schools too. Like they can travel to elementary schools, they can travel to middle schools. And so can the talk box. The talk box can be in elementary and middle schools as well. 
One thing we know about depression and anxiety is that sometimes it's hard to self-report or when you're in that place to actually ask for help. How would you encourage, sorry, how would you encourage very quickly the use of the box? Well, um, one of the reasons we came up with the box was because uh, it can be really hard for a student to approach a counselor who's like a big adult in a position of authority who can kind of dictate what they can do with them. So by basically putting something in the talk box, uh, it's first of all anonymous, so they aren't necessarily going to be like, you know, ostracized or like hurt or anything, or you know what I mean, right? Yeah. And um, they can also basically, the mental health society can um, basically analyze the data and see if there's anything they can possibly do to help. So. It, basically gives the help of the counselor, but doesn't really expose their... Yeah, and if it goes to an extreme level of someone saying, hey, I'm going to kill myself, or hey, I'm in a really bad situation, since they have the student IDs on top, the counselors can easily look at that person and get the help that they deserve.